Today we play Lazio away in the Rome derby as well as a trip to the San Siro to play AC Milan. Hello and welcome back to episode 3 of Raising Ace Roma. Uh, please remember to like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Um, first things first, we've made a couple of tactical changes, just, just tweaks. Um, we're going more along the lines of the kind of a, a tick attacker formation now. And this is just to counter the fact that <clears throat> against Fiorentina, I feel like we lacked a bit of control of the game. Um, Udinese as well, if you remember, they had two or three one-on-one -on -one chances in the first half. So I just want to kind of dominate possession a bit more. Much shorter passing, much lower tempo. Um, and we're going to focus play through the middle and we're going to narrower. It's basically more along the lines of tick attacker, just dominating the ball. Even there, like I'm not countering, holding the shape when we win the ball back. We've also uh, pushed the we've also pushed the defensive lines higher. Even though I said in episode one I wouldn't. Um, I just want to squeeze the play as much as possible, win the ball back early, even if it means getting tired. Hopefully the lower tempo shot passing will um, sort of counteract how tired the players get because that will give them a bit of a breather. But yeah, as I'm um, going to be a heavy favourite in a lot of these games, I kind of want to just dominate the play as much as possible. I've also changed the midfield three to all playmakers, which is risky and something I don't think I've ever done before, but we're going to go for it. So coming up we've got AGF in the Europa Conference League at home in the group stage. We're hoping we kind of breeze through them, I don't want to jinx it too much. Then we've got the big one away at Lazio which is a derby. Then we've got Genoa at home where we need to probably pick up three points and then Milan away which again it's another tough one. It could be a tough stream this, let's see what happens. Right then here we go AGF at home in the Europa Conference League like I said before. We're looking for a, a convincing win. Hopefully rack off a few players at um, at half time, resting for the Lazio game. So we're going with this team again. It's a, the first choice team that's available. The only difference I'm going to make, as I've said previously, is uh, Vigna in at left back instead of Spinazzola. We've got Patricio Vigna, Ibanez, Mancini, Karsdorp, Cristante Veritu, Pellegrini, Zaniolo, Mkhitaryan and Tammy Abraham up front. Switched over towards Mkhitaryan. What's happened there? There's a foul apparently. I did not even see what happened. But it's a penalty to Rome in the first 10 minutes. Veritut, 1 0. Ibanez. Ibanez to Vigna. His ball in towards Tammy. It's over the line. It's a great header. 2 0. Plain sailing. It's turned to beat for AGF. It's gone wide. Dinks it in towards. Oh! Lauritsen. 2 1. Good header. Car stop, Zanny Holo. Nice ball through. Tammy shorter this time. Yep. 3 1. I'm getting that morale up. Right, we're going to start pulling people off. That sounds completely wrong. We're going to start taking people off for substitutions. Tammy Abraham. Very two. Nice ball. Mikatarian and Zanny Holo, Charlie. Yep. 4 1. Oh, Rue's in. Rue scores. It's a little bit worrying the um, the goals are conceded. There we go. 4 2 win against AGF at home. Kick off the Conference League with a win. It always should have been a win. Look at that group. The quality really is poor in this, isn't it? Hibbs, Ferreira, and AGF. I mean, if we get less than 18 points, I'll be a bit disappointed. Right, here we go. The first big game of the season. It's a Rome derby. Away at Lazio, we've started quite well. And I'll be honest, I don't think we can afford to um, 
to lose this game if you want to stay in and around the top four. So we're going for the same team that started against AGF. Um, a couple of lines forming, a bit of chemistry forming. Is this tick attack tactic going to bite me a bit in this kind of game? Potentially. But we want to try and dominate regardless. Let's get into it. Come on the boys. It's a vicious derby at my home ground. The Dirty Beggars stealing my home ground off me for a match. Come on. Mkhitaryan, Pellegrini, Veritu, Abraham. Nice, Pellegrini. This is intricate. Vigna, they've worked it fantastically well. Vigna's ball across. It's got to be a goal. Zaniolo. It's all kicking off in the away end. What a lovely goal. Just worked down this left-hand side fantastically. Abraham involved to Pellegrini. Short passing, Mkhitaryan. One touch stuff. Vigna across. It's a lovely ball in as well. And Zaniolo at the back post is quicker to it to the ball than his man. 1-0 Roma. Good start. Half time. 1-0 Roma. I think we've controlled possession. We've had um We've had the better of the XG, I think, as well. <laughs> By point not one. But you know, they all count. Uh yeah, 58% possession to Roma. Which shows we are dominating the ball a bit better. Very two, nice. It's finally opened up for Vina on the left hand side. I need a good cross in. Here it comes. Tammy's there. Post. Oh, Lazari, Immobiles running behind. Oh. There is a VAR check. I'm not convinced this will be disallowed. No. Awarded 1 1. Disappointing. Lucas, Ramos, Immobile, they're playing right through us. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a bit lucky. It's a good save from Rui again. We're hanging on here. This whole dominating the ball thing is not going very well at the moment, is it? It's getting pushed back. Lazari has been a thorn in our side. To Anderson. It's Lazari again. Milinkovic Savic. There it is. So much room out there. Felipe Anderson gets a bit of a deflection back to Lazari. Is that Mkhitaryan just sleeping? And no one's near Mil uh, Milinkovic Savage either. Oh, Immobile is in again. We've gone really tired here, haven't we? This is it the post? From a brilliant first half to a pretty terrible second one. What is that? That's it. That second half was one of the worst I think I've ever seen on this game. The turnaround from the first was incredible. We literally went in with like 0.01 more XG and we've come out being absolutely dominated. Very strange game of football that was. Really poor. We're in mid-table. It's not going good. It's not going well. Well, at least Patricio got an 8.2. That's uh, positive. Right, on to Milan. Oh, no, it's not. It's Genoa. There's absolutely no excuse not to win this one. And also we can't afford to not to win this one because we're probably going to lose again at the weekend against Milan. Let's stick with the same team again. Have some trust, have a bit of faith in them. Come on, boys. Can we have a win now? There we go, Mkhitaryan, very two. Let's have some of that football that <laughs> tore Lazio apart in the first half last game. Mkhitaryan, very two. We could tear a lovely ball. I think he's on side, but he's missed it. Vela. Destro. No one's watching uh, Chris Gito. Keeper saves. Very worrying sometimes. Zaniolo. To Veritut. Veritut to Vigna. A little pass inside, Mkhitaryan, lovely touch, taking it brilliantly. We needed that, and he gets his first of the season. Vien, it's a lovely ball, it's that first touch, just takes him away from the defender, puts it in the near post, lovely goal. Ibanez, Tavinia, Taveratut, Mkhitaryan, don't lose it please. Over here on the counter, nice pass from Veratut, there's Vigna. 
There's Vini, there's Tammy. Of course he scores. Tammy Abraham with his head again. Lovely play from Vini. And Rome will go 2 0 up against Genoa in a much needed win, surely. And you know what? We don't mind this. No highlight second half, just chill out. So win for Roma, 2 0. Back to winning ways after a poor result against Lazio. So we go to Milan, six points behind them. It's going to be a very tough game that, and hopefully we'll have a bit of a bit of a run after that. We've got Hibs away, and we've got Torino. That's winnable. Napoli is not the easiest one. Verona at home. That's winnable. Sassuolo, Spezia, Venezia, Salernitana. So after this Milan game in the league. Four or five, not just winnable, should be winning type games. Right, here we go. AC Milan away. This is the big one. This is the last game of the video. Spinazzola, we all know, still injured. Vini's starting to get tired. We'll rest him in midweek. He's against Hibs away, I think. So we're going to pass a rest a few of you thinking that. Uh, Patricio, Carlos, Mancini, Ibanez, Vini, Cristante, Veritu, Zaniola, Pellegrini, Mkhitaryan, Abraham. Let's end the episode with some sort of cheer. So par. He's Rebic. Rebic in for Frank Kessie. Good block. Good block again. It's last ditch though, isn't it? I'd rather it's not so last ditch. But we have got to half time at nil nil, which isn't a bad performance and we start with a corner to Milan with Brahim oh it's come through to Kessie Tenali don't let him shoot oh Sally Mackers hits the bar if we could have one highlight today that would be nice just anything it's a sniff Tamari to Kessie Tenali to Florenzi I feel like we're going to concede. It feels inevitable. Raheem Diaz. Lorenzi. In comes the cross. No one's picked up Rebic. There's a goal. There, dear. Diaz to Florenzi. He just made a bit of room. Whipped in the early cross. Car stops nowhere near Rebic. He should be. And there's a goal. And you're shocked to see that Milan start with the ball again. Oh my god. We've got no subs left. But it's going to leave the right flank open. Not been a good episode this guys. Not been fantastic has it. There is another highlight. We're not going to have this ball are we? Not a chance. Florenzi comes down the right again. Kunic. What is Karsdorp doing? Make a zebra. Zebra. Karsdorp is watching yet again. Should have been first of the ball, just left it. Rebic picks it up, crosses the ball in. Ibrahimovic heads it in. Well, it's disappointing. But it was. Uh, there was always a possibility, I guess. Two losses this episode. Right, a quick look at the table. We've got Roma in ninth now, which is not very pleasant to see. Three wins, three losses, no draws. Um, oh dear. Nine points behind Milan at the top of the league. They've already got a three point gap. We're only we're six points off into in fourth. The th without making it too negative though, we did lose to Lazio away, and Milan away, we've been to Fiorentina away. After the Hibernian game, which will be in the ep next episode, we've got. Um, Torino at home, who are in 7th. Napoli away, that's tricky. But after Napoli, we've got Verona, 16th. Sassuolo in 14th. Spezia in 15th. Uh, Venezia in 18th. Salernitana in 19th. And then Bologna in 20th. Like, the run is ridiculous after Napoli. Again, we're away at Napoli. It's another tricky one. But we could put a bit of a run together after that. So... I'm not going to be too doom and gloom yet. I think things can get better. 
so that was episode three. Thanks very much for watching. Please remember to like the video, uh, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Um, hopefully we have a better uh, look with the results in the next one. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.